17 Republican attorneys general vowing action against Google for allegedly censoring pro-life pregnancy centers on their site. Top state prosecutors calling out Democratic leaders, congressmen and women, attempting to pressure the tech giant to, quote, discriminate against pro-life crisis pregnancy centers in Google search results in online advertising and Google Maps. Virginia Attorney General Jason Miaris leading the charge. He joins me now. A.G. Miaris, thanks for being here. Here's the rhetoric you are up against. Senator Elizabeth Warren saying this about these pregnancy centers just two weeks ago. We need to shut them all down around the country. You should not be able to torture a pregnant person like that. So what's this quote unquote torture she's referring to? Well, here are some of the services provided in these crisis pregnancy centers. Free ultrasounds, pregnancy tests, STD testing, parental and prenatal education classes. Doesn't sound very tortuous to me. What are you and your fellow AGs doing about this, AG Miars? Well, I mean, I'd like to first of all say to Elizabeth Warren, she clearly has never visited a crisis pregnancy center, because if you have, you would see they're the very, very best of America. They're women that want to help other women, and they will help any woman that comes to them, regardless of what they believe, regardless of their background. And so many of the women that come to them are desperate. And so the idea that she would use as a United States senator threatened the full force and power of the federal government to close a private charity. This isn't a public institution. These are private institutions funded by the generous gifts of their donors, donors all because she doesn't agree with their worldview. That is the opposite of what a, a diverse society can do to survive. And so uh, you had on top of that several members of Congress who mailed, who sent a letter to Google saying, we do not want to allow crisis pregnancy centers to even advertise, even to be allowed to advertise on our platform or even to show up on Google Maps. Now, Google controls over 90 percent of all the web searches uh, in America today. And so I can't think of an any more gross abuse of power uh, in which you use the full force of power of a monopoly to shut down an idea just because you disagree with them. So I put together a coalition of attorney generals along with Daniel Cameron of Kentucky, where we just put Google on notice and say, listen, we don't care what these far left politicians who want to demonize this private charity that helps women are asking of you, don't do it, because we have the power of attorney generals, if need be, to absolutely investigate you and see if you're using, abusing your antitrust uh, uh, statues, as well as possibly religious discrimination as well. And so our job as attorney general is to be the people's lawyers and also be that those folks representing the underdogs. And right now, crisis pregnancy centers are under siege, both literally and figuratively. I've had two crisis pregnancy centers in Virginia alone, one in Prince William County, another one down in Lynchburg, that have been vandalized and attacked uh, by these groups, Jane's Revenge and others that have, have tried to silence the voices of those they disagree with. And it's tragic, and we're proud to stand with them. It really does beg the question why the party of quote unquote choice is so worried that a woman might get a range of options when faced with a pregnancy. Why the Democrats only want you to have the option on your search results to terminate the pregnancy is telling. AG Jason Miari is always a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you, sir. Keep us posted on your work in this area. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.